Welcome back to the Panic Room, everyone, and to another tag video today. So guys, today we get to talk about hobbies and things that we do kind of outside reading. So this will be kind of cool. Now, I saw that this tag was originally created by James Holder. I was tagged by Big Hard Books and Classics, so thank you. So I'm kind of excited about this, like, because you guys know I, I love to do, like, crafty stuff, so... But you know how I roll. I haven't even looked at the prompt shit. So let's see. Let's get... MJ's video pulled up because I know she always has the prompts to everything. All right, question number one. Within your personal library, do you collect books? For example, specific authors, editions, genres, etc. No. No, I do not. Um, I keep books that are special to me. I keep books that are signed to me. That's about it. <laughs> you guys know I don't reread and I love sending books to my friends. So if you send me books and I read them, I usually, I try to ask you um, if it's okay if I pass it on because I like to do that. I like to pass books on. I wouldn't call myself a collector of them. I keep the ones that I like that mean something to me for some reason and the rest of them get to go on and serve their purpose to another reader, so. Question number two, what are your non-bookish hobbies? Um, I like to crochet. You guys want to see the last thing I crocheted? I can show you because by the time I post this video, I'm pretty sure that the person I'm giving this to will already have it. So let me show you. So I crochet and I've been recently having a lot of time on my hands and trying to teach myself like new stitches and techniques. Now there's a type of crochet called corner to corner. If you guys look behind me right there, that P, that's a corner to corner crochet. It's the one corner to corner that I was ever able to do. I get so frustrated, but I told myself I was gonna learn how to do it. Look what I made. I literally finished this today. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's an alien. And not only did I make it, I actually found a program that kind of like graphs it out for you. So I designed it, which is a huge deal because I suck at math, it's a graph. But yeah, that was a huge deal for me. Like, I'm kind of proud of him. <laughs> As far as any other hobbies, um, I really like to cook. I love trying like Korean recipes, Japanese recipes. Um, I eat a lot of Asian inspired food, primarily because those dishes never hardly have like dairy products. So it's really, really, really easy to make them veggie friendly. So yeah, I eat a lot of like Asian inspired dishes and I love to like mess around with that in the kitchens. Speaking of, do you guys ever make something that is just so damn good that you're like, I could be a chef? <laughs> I made gochujang tofu the other day and it was phenomenal. And I was like, wow, I should have a dinner party and serve this, you know, in the future, like, like way in the future when I can be around people safely. Question number three is what hobbies have you fallen out of and why? Well, I used to draw. When I was younger, I used to draw. And I say that because I recently found my charcoal pencils and I just, I haven't. I haven't in a lot of years. I can't really tell you why. It's just one of those things that kind of like drifted off. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like, you know, you just have stuff that like drifts away from you. You don't push it away. It just happens. So yeah, I used to, I used to draw. Don't really much anymore. Maybe I'll pick it back up. And question number four is, do you regret dropping those hobbies? Um, regret is a strong word. No, I have come to terms with the fact that things go in and out of your life and it's just the way of the world. So I wouldn't say I regret it. It's not like there's a big chunk missing from my life because I haven't picked up a charcoal pencil. Question number five is what hobbies do you wish you had? I wish I had more athletic hobbies. Like I do yoga, but I really wish I was more athletic because I feel like, you know, it keeps you healthy. Uh, it gives you a reason to like know your body and I say that because you know you have to know your physical capabilities um, That has become appallingly apparent to me as of late that you really need to know your capability and how you can progress forward You know what knocks you back a step things like that So I really envy athletes because I feel like they have this innate sense of what they can accomplish and what they can and cannot do. I do wish I had more athletic ability. I really don't though. I am so bad at most sports. I tried my hand at tennis in middle school and I'm pretty sure that was the last time I ever did anything like that. <laughs> but things that involve like running and hitting, I've never been good at. You know the one that I really wish I could do? is stuff like kickboxing or karate. Mm. I would so take a class in that. That just seems so cool. How badass is it to be able to like kick a board off someone's head? You know, like it's just, it's so cool looking. It's really awesome. I would love to pick that up. 
And of course the last one is tag people. No. Uh, <laughs> that's not one of my hobbies. Not one of my hobbies to tag people. But guys, this was super fun. And I guess it's kind of like a get to know me kind of tag. Not that I'm super exciting or anything. Most of you probably knew that I crocheted if you followed me for any length of time. But yeah, crocheting and reading. That's, that's kind of my whole life. <laughs> But as always, thank you for hanging out for this tag. I, again, I don't think I bombed this one. You know, I could talk about myself. There's not a whole lot to say. <laughs> but guys, if you like this, please hit like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And until next time, bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.